This Diwali, if your friends spring in a surprise at you, spring a surprise back at them with some most amazingly delicious mocktails. I'm going to show you three types. Let's begin. The first mocktail that I'm showing you uses tender coconut water and mango juice. Now both are available in its proprietary form. Go all out and put that to use. If you have some fresh mango pulp, which you've frozen in summers, time to bring it out. What I'm using here is a goblet, which I'm going to fill with lots of ice. Remember, it's a mocktail. Let's begin with rose syrup. Well, I'm not going to flavor this mocktail too much because primarily the flavor that I want screaming out is tender coconut. So just a touch of rose syrup, a touch of mango juice, and then we keep going further. A fresh squeeze of lemon, just a little bit of sugar syrup, mango juice, which like I said earlier, could be fresh, canned, preserved, choice is completely yours. And here comes the hero of this mocktail and that is tender coconut water. Let's build this up lightly without stirring or shaking too much. And finally, some sprigs of mint. With this, you have your first mocktail done and ready. What do we call this? Uh, tender coconut sunshine? Maybe. Moving on to the next one, and that is a kiwi and cucumber cooler. Let's do that. For which, of course, I need a kiwi. I'm gonna snip off both the ends of this fruit. Take a teaspoon, insert it just under the skin, like so, and turn around. With this, you have your scooped kiwi ready to use. I'm gonna keep a few slices aside for the final garnish and cut the fruit roughly. Similarly, I'm going to use a cucumber and cut this into a thin slice. Cut it lengthwise to begin with and then a thin slice like so. Similarly, I'm also going to slice an imported orange. The remaining cucumber needs to get peeled and this also needs to be cut roughly. Let's move this aside and bring in our mixy jar. Let's transfer the diced kiwi and cucumber into this jar. Some freshly squeezed lemon, a few cubes of ice, a few sprigs of mint. You just churn this and you have the most amazing chilled mocktail done under a few minutes. One last ingredient, some sugar syrup, which could be optional. Let's add in some water and grind this. Time to add in lots of ice in the glass. Into the glass, I'm gonna place a slice of cucumber and just push it downwards. Allow the cucumber to take the shape of this glass. I'm gonna slide in a slice of kiwi and on the other side, a slice of orange. Ensure that our glass looks nice, fancy and colorful. Let's pour in this luscious mocktail into this decorated glass. A garnish made out of cucumber and mint. Now you would ask how I've made this. What I have done is, remember, we made these slices. Just rub in some salt and keep this aside precisely for two minutes. The cucumber would become nice and soft. Just add in a few mint leaves, roll it, pick it or reserve it with a toothpick. And there you have the most amazing garnish done and ready. With this, you have your kiwi cucumber cooler done and ready. The third one is a Ruhavza Mojito. What I'm doing is, in this jar, I'm going to build up a classic Mojito and then bring in the Ruhavza. Let me begin with lots of ice, fresh lemon juice, chunks of fresh lemon that de seeded, lots of fresh mint leaves, sugar syrup, and along with this, I'm going to use pink salt, cold water, and last but not the least, the star of this mocktail, Ruhavza. You would be wondering, I've added Ruhavza in this recipe. I'd already added sugar syrup. Why two sweeteners? Imagine you want this mocktail to be slightly on the sweeter side. What would you do? You may add in more of Ruhavza. You do not want that. The Ruhavza needs to be there, but in moderation. Sugar syrup, 
will keep building the sweetness. So there'll come a point where you'll find that right balance between sugar syrup and ruhafsa. No recipe in the world will help you with that. You decide how sweet and how much of flavor. Remember that. Let's crush this and your ruhafsa mojito will be done and ready. Let's begin building this up. Lots of ice. You finally need to top this up with lots of mint. With this, your three types of mocktails are done and ready. And remember what I said? Surprise your friends this Diwali. Happy Diwali to all of you across the globe. Bye for now.